The best places to visit in Indiana, USA. Indiana, nicknamed the Hoosier State, is located in the Great Lakes region. It has lots of awesome places to visit and see. Visitors can pick from cultural attractions, museums, music, sports, the outdoors, shopping, and more when they go to Indiana. As the crossroads of America, it is easy to get to Indiana and once you do, you'll be entertained for weeks, whether you choose to visit casinos, wineries, festivals, museums, or national parks. Be amazed by these beautiful pictures of places in Indiana. The capital of the state of Indiana in the USA, Indianapolis. This is a diverse and exciting city offering a host of things to see and do. The 12th largest city in the country, this is a sprawling metropolis offering everything from fascinating culture to rich history. Whether you are looking for museums and galleries, family attractions, nightlife or outdoor activities, you will find something to suit everyone in this city when it comes to sites and attractions. You can also look forward to plenty of accommodation options as well as amenities such as dining facilities, shopping and transport options to enable you to get around and explore with ease. The Marengo Cave The cave was discovered in 1883 by two young children who entered the grotto by candlelight. Located beneath the town of Marengo, the cave quickly became known as an exciting attraction for locals and visitors alike. Although the cave was originally located on private land, the Marengo Cave Company was established in 1900 to protect and preserve the unique landmark. A new entrance to the cave was carved so that visitors didn't have to deal with the 160-step staircase that stood beneath the original entrance. The cave is absolutely wonderful, filled with interesting formations and is home to a fascinating ecosystem. Holiday World and Splash and Safari Holiday World and Splash and Safari are two popular amusement parks in Santa Claus, Indiana. Visitors can be thrilled by massive roller coasters with hairpin twists and turns a hop on some carnival-style rides that are fun for the whole family. Each ride is assigned a rating from mild to wild so that guests can easily find rides that they are comfortable with. Splash and Safari features all kinds of water rides including slides, a wave pool, a lazy river, and splash pad areas for young kids. The Italorg Museum The Italorg Museum of American Indians and Western Art was founded to honor and preserve Native American artwork from around the United States and Canada. The museum has three main collections centered on Native American art, a Western art and contemporary art. 
The Native American portion of the museum mainly contains works from tribes like the Miami, Potawatomi, and Delaware, who still call parts of Indiana home. Jingle Rails is an awesome display of model trains that wrap around reproductions of some on the United States treasured areas. Visitors can expect to see nine working model trains wind past the local treasures of downtown Indianapolis. The Benjamin Harrison Presidential Site pays tribute to the life of Benjamin Harrison, the 23rd President of the United States. The presidential site is used for special events like corporate parties, concerts, and speakers. Harrison's life as a Civil War survivor, a lawyer, and eventually a politician is depicted throughout the site in pictures, written works, and interactive exhibits. Caroline Harrison, the wife of President Harrison, is also celebrated at a historical site. Her contributions to the women's suffrage movement as well as her paintings are displayed throughout the museum. Indiana State Capitol Established in 1888, the Indiana State Capitol is a regal building that houses the state's executive branch offices. The four-floor limestone structure underwent an extensive renovation process in 1988, 100 years after its original construction. The renovation cost roughly $10 million and was completed over a two-year period. The building's lighting was updated with new chandeliers based on the original designs, and most interior walls were repainted. The State House is open for public tours during the work week and with limited hours during weekend mornings. Brown County State Park This is Indiana's largest state park. Nicknamed the Little Smokies because of the area's resemblance to the Great Smoky Mountains, Brown County encompasses nearly 16,000 acres of rugged hills, ridges and fog-shrouded ravines. Glaciers from the most recent ice ages stopped short of the hills o' brown, but their meltwaters helped create the narrow ridges, steep slopes and deep gullies of Brown County State Park. Indiana's largest park is a traditional fall-color hotspot, with nearly 20 miles of tree-lined roads and many scenic vistas overlooking miles of uninterrupted forestland. Soldiers and Sailors Monument Standing at 284 feet tall, the Indianapolis Soldiers and Sailors Monument honors Indiana's veterans. The monument was originally built in the early 1900s to recognize Hoosiers who fought in the Civil War, but it has gradually come to symbolize the sacrifices made by the veterans of all wars. A copper box inside the stone still contains a list of all the Indiana soldiers who fought in the Civil War, copies of Indiana's state constitutions, an American flag with 38 stars, and other significant items. The ornate monument, which is located in Monument Circle, was added to the National Register of Historic Places in February, 1973.
Indiana Dunes National Lakeshore Indiana Dunes is a unit of the National Park System designated as a U.S. National Lake Shore located in northwest Indiana and managed by the National Park Service. The National Lake Shore runs for nearly 25 miles 40 kilometers, along the southern shore of Lake Michigan, in Chesterton, Indiana. This national park offers an incredible diversity of habitats and visitor experiences. Beyond the sandy beaches, explore rugged dunes, quiet forests and tranquil wetlands along 50 miles of hiking trails. World-class birding and over 1,100 native plant species makes this 15,000-acre park among the most biologically rich in the nation. Connor Prairie Interactive History Park is a sprawling natural area filled with opportunities for hands-on learning. At the 1836 Prairie Town, visitors can get a feel for what life was like in the early 1800s. The town features a one-room schoolhouse, a general store, and several other historic buildings. Kids can learn historical games or observe a blacksmith in action. Guests also have the option of flying nearly 400 feet over the History Park as part of the 1859 Balloon Voyage. Important lessons from the Civil War are covered in the 1863 Civil War Journey Tour, and Native American life is on display at the Lenape Indian Camp. Thanks for watching, please, like, comment and subscribe.